What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm back at Golf Executive Montreal. Uh, it's the first day back hitting golf balls. So I, uh, I warmed up for a little while earlier. I'm not trying to think too technically right now. I just want to get the body warm, see how the body's moving after the treatments, after the physio I've been doing. And uh, thought I'd just bring it out on the course, see what's happening, and then I'll just kind of take it from there. And I thought I'd bring you guys with me. So we're on the first hole, par three, uh, 158 yards today a back flag, a little bit downwind, so I'm just taking a little bit off the 9-iron, trying to hit it about 150, 152, because I really don't want to go long. Okay, really well hit. It's pulled it way left, so we got some work to do to make par. Okay, so we're up by the green actually perfectly pin high. I think I'm going to have to pay a little more attention to my alignment because that felt like a really good swing and it's been a week since I've really hit balls so the fundamentals might be a little bit off. I'm really happy with the strike. Really, really good ball flight. Right distance. So I've got a little chip here uh, going down onto the green then it goes back uphill and should turn a little bit to the right as it gets to the hole. But just want to put this inside of a nice little two foot circle. About 56 degree in hand. Not bad. Came out a little softer than I thought, but we'll take that. All right, now we've got this putt from just about four feet to clean up the par. Let's see if I can knock this in. All right, slid it in the uh, left side there. Hard to start. Okay guys, on to the second hole. Par four, 388 yards. Greens over those trees that way. So there's water on the right. The hole just kind of dog legs around the water. Uh, it gets pretty narrow up there. So I usually just hit three iron off this tee. There's really no point in hitting more than this. It's just too small of a window to put the ball into. And if I hit a good three iron, I've usually got somewhere in the 120, 130 range in any way. So it's, it's still a wedge, I can still make it a scoring hole. So just trying to put this just down the left center of the fairway, keep it away from the water, give myself a nice angle into the green. Pretty good shot, not the best contact, just a little high on the face, but I'm out there, I'm in the fairway, I'm gonna have a wedge in. All right guys, second shot here, second hole. At 118 yards, the flag. Flag middle of the green, but way on the left side. Green actually extends way out to the right there. So, uh, this should just be a nice little comfortable sand wedge for me. I don't really have to step on it. There's a little bit of help. Um, it could be a small gap wedge, but just kind of the shot that I'm feeling right now. Pretty good, just leaked to the right a little bit, but I'm putting. Okay guys, so up on the green here, about 10 high, 15 feet away, so got a pretty good look. Um, from what I see, this putt is a little uphill. It should turn a little bit to the left as it gets towards the hole. It's never turned. Hit a good putt, can't be upset. Okay guys, third hole, par three. Uh, short little par three actually, it's uh, 100 yards exactly today. Pins on the right side of the green. There's a bit of a bowl back there, so pretty much anything in that section will have a pretty good look at 30. It's a little into at the moment, the wind just split. So I'm just gonna hit a little controlled 56 degree, try and drive it into that back section there. Pin high, just right of the flag, so I'll have an uphill putt. Alright guys, up on the green. 
right on and high. I'm happy with the uh, distance control now, shot, happy with the flight that I hit. Bit of an uphill putt, and it should try to turn a little bit. Should try to turn a little bit to the left. Say first birdie on the channel in four years. Okay, fourth tee. It's uh, not the clearest of days, but you can faintly see Montreal in the background now. The par four. I believe it's 385. I'm gonna have to check that. Uh, I'll put the actual yardage up on the screen. Anyways, um, you can see those bunkers, the cross bunkers out there. Those are right at about 300 yards out. There is a bit of hurt today, but driver's still not the play because it really brings those in, into play. Um, so I'm hitting three wood. Now, if you remember from the, uh, the recap, Q School recap video I posted, this is one of two clubs that I've really struggled with in Q School. I actually didn't hit it at all during the tournament because the ball flight was so bad. So a little nervous here, but I feel like I've been swinging it pretty good. So I've just got to kind of just trust it, put a good swing on it, keep my good tempo. Put it out there. It was a really low flight, much lower than I was looking for, but it was a good strike, you know, right out the middle. Would have been nice if I was trying to hit that penetrating flight, but I was trying to get that up in the air a little bit more, so still got some stuff to work on, but that's way better than it was a couple weeks ago out west, where it would have been, probably would have gone in the water left, to be honest. Okay, so good result with the three wood. You can really see why driver was not the play. They're even hitting three wood about 10, 15 yards short of those, uh, those bunkers, so... It was fairway, got 85 yards for that flag. It's middle, left side of the green. Wind's a little off the right. Ball's a little above my feet. So I'm gonna start this a little right of the hole. Hope that it'll work back in. Hopefully give ourselves another good look at birdie here. over it just a hair long I think I'm still putting but man that looked good in the air okay so a little off of the distance control there all uh, landed here about five paces long and just kind of sort of back to green I'm on the fringe so I'm gonna putt it touch a little putt yeah it kind of goes uphill and then crest and goes down by the hole overall I believe it's gonna try and turn to the right Let's see what we can do here Way harder than I expected. Okay, par putt here. Someone did going past the hole, not much. Let's just kind of start this inside the hole. Should just turn a hair to the left. Turn to the right. Damn, that's a bad bogey yeah, after the shot. Hey guys, par three fifth hole. Gotta try and get over that bogey. I mean. I hit two good shots, just distance, distance control with that wedge was a little off. And then just got fooled by that first, well, technically fooled by the first and second putts. Anyways, uh, you know, that's just one of those things. It's been a week since I've had a club in my hands. It'll take me a bit of time to get those uh, wedge distances dialed in again, but the, the contact is really good. The line is fantastic. So par three here, 145 yards today, playing 140 downhill. Wind's off the left, so I'm going to hit a little draw pitching wedge, pull it back up into that wind. Wind's on the front right portion of the green. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. Did okay. I mean, I wonder if the wind might have been more into because I drew it and the wind didn't seem to hold it up at all. So it de definitely drifted a little left, came up a little short, but I'm on the green. I'm putting. Let's go try and get that one back. All right, guys, here we are on the green. Got about 16 feet here for birdie. 
not a bad shot at all, pretty good result. Going a little uphill, kind of rise up a little bit, turn a little bit to the right. Overread it. Got to keep giving myself looks. Feel like I'm hitting good putts. Okay guys, on to the sixth hole, par three. This has got to be my my favorite hole here. It's just such a picturesque little shot here from the top of the hill. Um, it's a 202 yard hole. They got the tees up a little bit today. I guess the pin slightly at the front. It's uh, one, uh, 190 playing 183 down the hill. Uh, I'm definitely feeling like that wind is kind of into like it was on the last hole. So normally this would just be a pretty comfortable eight iron. I, I'd have to step on it a little bit, but not very much. I'm gonna hit a, an easy seven today, kind of like a, a three quarter swing seven. And what I absolutely don't wanna do is miss short left in that little pot bunker. So anything even just past the flag on the green is gonna leave me in a pretty good spot. Quality shot. Then high, middle of the green. Looks like I got about 20 feet. Yeah, so the angle from the tee fooled me a little bit. I'm a little shy of 10 high. Still a really good shot. Really good thing I hit the 7 iron. About 24 feet here. Should go uphill. Does press about two thirds of the way there. Should kind of just slide to the left going up the hill and then maybe dive a little bit more once it crests. Awful read. That, ladies and gentlemen, is why you take the fly stick out. So for the record, I basically never putt with the flag in during the tournament. I'm only doing it now for the channel, just so that you guys have a bit of a reference point as to where the hole is. I, you can do whatever you want. I still know some guys who prefer to putt with the flag in, but like that par putt on the last hole. I mean, for the sake of what I'm doing today, I'm giving myself that because it was right in the heart. Um, you know, flag just got in the way, lipped out afterwards. Anyways, I'm not gonna lose any sleep over that. Par three, seventh hole, 130 yards today. A little bit into, pins on the back right side of the green. So take a little bit off my gap wedge, try and flight one back there, give myself another good look. First swing of the day that I'm realistically just not happy with. I mean, that's well short and well right. Felt like I hit it well, so a little confused. Got a lot of work to do for par here. Yeah, I, I don't know how my ball managed to stay on this little peninsula here. Um, I actually got a pretty decent lie. Fortunately, I don't have a ton of green to work with and everything sloping away from me, so I'm gonna have to have a hit a pretty good shot here to give myself a good look at par. I didn't think I could leave it short. Yeah, it great execution. Let's make the par putt. Hey guys, got this like five footer left on my par here. Doesn't look like there's much in it. Downhill, if anything, turning a bit left. Take that and run. Hey guys, eight hole, 315 yards, par four. Dog legs to the right, green's kind of out there. Uh, there's kind of like wasteland down the right side that you got to cover if you want to go for it. Now, this is another one of my nemesis clubs at the moment, and it's really not the smart play. But I'm out here to kind of see where my game is at. I figure I got to hit at least one driver to just kind of assess how things are going. So I'm going to give it a run. Got about 300 to the flag today. Just like the three wood I hit on four, just gotta step up there and trust it. Oh, 
take that. Uh, pretty heavy draw, but pretty well hit. Definitely wasn't trying to draw it, not on this hole, but good result. All right, up on the green, we got about 16 feet for eagle. A little downhill. It's gonna turn a little bit left to right. Plus, really all about pace. Just gotta match up the pace with the line. It's gonna come pretty aggressively down to the right as it gets the hole. I mean, this is a putt that's gonna enter the hole at about 8, 8.30 if it does go in. Not as downhill as I thought. Okay. Easy birdie. The risk paid off, but would have liked to have given that first putt a better chance. Okay, ninth hole. Uh, par five. The only par five here at Golf Executive Montreal. It's short. It's only 465. I know you're saying, well, that's not, that's like a medium length par four. Um, there is a large hazard right in the middle of the hole which uh, is about 255, 260 to get to, and over 300 to carry it. So it makes the hole play a lot longer. I usually have about 230 coming in. So really, I mean, two good long irons. I should still get to the green, um, but it's not like I can just, you know, bomb driver and hit a wedge in kind of thing. So it's a pretty good test. Um, I'm trying to start this out down the middle, three iron. Hit it low with a bit of a draw. Have it finish a little more up the left side of the fairway. Set myself up for my second shot to the green. Okay, hit it low, didn't draw, so it's slightly up the right, but I mean, it's fine, the middle of the fairway wasn't the best strike so I'll probably have a little longer in than I would have wanted but still well set up to attack. Okay so I'm in the fairway here 233 flag so it's not too bad. Uh, you can see where that hazard I was talking about is here. So I'm in a pretty good position. Probably could have gotten a little more aggressive but I definitely wasn't going to go to three wood. So that really just brings trouble into play for no points. Pins on the right side of the green so I've got four iron in hand. I'm not trying to chase the flag from here. I'm going to aim middle of the green, that way if I lose a bit to the right, it'll end up close to the flag. But just playing to the safe side, there's really tons of room on the left side anyway. So even if I go center and miss a little left, uh, I've got room to play with, I'll have green to work with. Just waiting for the group ahead of me to uh, clear the green, and we'll uh, get after it. Did push it. Greenside bunker, pretty good strike, just not a good line. Okay, so I'm just in the greenside trap here, just shy of 10 high. It's a really good thing I aimed a little 10 last because I would have been in big trouble had I gone to the flag. I was trying to hit a good bunker shot here. The sand here tends to be pretty heavy. And this isn't going to release a ton, it's a little uphill. Good looking birdie here. Just got a bit of a slider here, a little uphill, left to right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do a really good job of matching line and pace. But let's roll it in, finish this off in style. It tried to miss, but it's in. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that. Um, Two under for the nine. Uh, overall thoughts, I mean, I hadn't swung a club in a week, so I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not really upset with it. I hit a, a number of really quality shots, a uh, number of decent shots, and a couple pretty loose ones. Um, managed to score decently. I mean, that one bogey I made was really unfortunate, uh, and had a few other good looks at birdie and just kind of misread putts. Felt like the putting was really solid, so that, that continues to be good. Um, Obviously got some work to do with uh, with the swing to get it back on track, but feeling good. 
body, the body did feel good out there today, which is really happy. I really felt like I was able to get to the positions I'm trying to get to. I didn't have to force myself into the, my body just kind of wanted to go there. Um, and now it's, and, and, and really felt a nice freedom when turning through the ball, which I really didn't feel out of cube school. Uh, nothing about the swings today really felt forced. So I'm going to wrap it up uh, for this video. Stay on the range for a while. Get some video for me to break down, see what's going on, and continue getting better. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. We'll see you soon.